Hey, in this screencast, you're going to learn a new way of positioning and sizing the items on the grid using something called named lines. So we have defined our normal grid here, which is the website layout you should be familiar with by now. Though in this case, we're defining it in the very simple way of only having two columns, one being one fraction unit and one being five fraction units. So we're not using the flexible 12 column layout here as this setup makes it easier when using named lines. So to brush up a little bit, the grid has column lines and row lines. And the first column line is the one on the left hand side. The second one is the one separating the two columns. And the third one is the one on the far right hand side. And our content item, for example, is defined to span from the second row line to the third row line from here to here. In our code, that will be from the line that goes in between here and until the line that goes here. So what we now can do is we can add a square bracket in between and write content start, for example. And on the third line, we can write content end like that. Now what we can do is we can swap out the number two here with content start and the number three with content end, like that. And as you can see, that works fine. If we wanted to do the same thing for the header, we'd have to give a name to the first line as well up here. Let's call that main start. So now the header spans from main start to content end. However, I actually want to call this line main end as well, because there might be a case in the future where we want to reference the main end explicitly, not use content end as a proxy for it. So, so let's just add a new name here, main end, like that. Just give it a space and then the new name. Now we can do main start, main end. As you can see, it works perfectly fine. The footer can get the exact same layout, like that. Now let's also name the rows using the exact same convention. We'll do main start. I'm just going to copy them and then start. End. And main end like that. Now, you might wonder why we've been using this dash syntax here. And that's because they give you a little bit of magic. Now, given that we've called this line here for content start and this line here for content end, the grid knows that this is the content column or columns, if that was the case. So you can actually set the grid column to just content like that. And as you can see, it works. Now the header and the footer spans from main start to main end. So we can do the exact same thing there as well. Just use grid column main. And to take this even a step further, actually, we can also use grid area in one of these cases. That'll be in the content case. Because let's have a look at the content lines, both the row lines and the column lines. So we know we have the content start here and the content end here, though we also have a content start here, the second row line, first, second, so this one here, and we have a content end on the third row line, the third one here, meaning we have boxed in an area with content lines here, 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 and here. And now we can actually use grid area, which you which you might remember from section one of this course, by simply doing grid area and set it to content like that, and it still works. However, you might be tempted to try and do the same thing down on the footer, though that wouldn't work because it has to be boxed in by four main lines, though the main start row line is the one that starts up here not down here above the footer. So here we have only kind of boxed it partially in. We have the main start column line here, which is the start of the footer and the 
main end row line, which is the bottom of the footer, and the main end column line, which is the right hand side of the footer, though the top of the footer is the content end line. So we can't use grid area main here. As you can see, it breaks the entire layout. So be careful and make sure that you have properly boxed in an area before you start using grid area. Okay, that was it for this bonus screencast. Thank you.